we may record your call today to help us to improve our customer service. For full details about how we handle personal information and your rights, visit our privacy centre over at tesco.com slash help. Do you want to speak to us about an order you've recently placed or your club card? If so, press 1. For questions about your local store or lost property, press 2. Tesco Mobile is on 3. For gift cards and money cards, it's 4. And for anything else, it's 5. To speak to us about working at Tesco, press 1. For charity or community inquiries, it's 2. For anything else, just stay on the line. We'd love to hear about your experience with us today. If you're happy to answer some quick questions, please press 1 now and we'll give you a call back tomorrow. Otherwise, please press 2. Please hold while we connect you to one of our customer service managers. Okay, how can I help today? <coughs> right, um, as a long-standing Tesco customer, I was in my local store this afternoon and my local store is Colby Newham in Middlesbrough. Uh, I believe the number is something like 515, something like that. And I was uh, buying my lottery tickets uh, prior to going in to do my full shop. Okay. And I was approached by one of your security personnel in store and told in no uncertain terms huh? that if I did not remove my GoPro from uh, my headband on my head, which was not recording, I hasten to add, okay, okay. I would be persona non grata in future in your store. I, I believe this is just because he said they'd received complaints from customers. I'd, I'd been walking around the store for about a month with the Go, GoPro strapped on my head, not recording, again I hasten to add, I don't record in, in places that I deem I'm not allowed to record in, but I still choose to walk around with the GoPro on my head and when I exit the store or indeed the shopping centre <clears throat> and go into a public place I can press the button and record video and audio as I'm entitled to do in a public place okay so I, what I'm saying is I understand the rules re video recording in areas like Tesco's store okay uh -huh. so, so just to confirm you the security guy approached you and he told you to remove your is that a recording piece you had on your head I had a GoPro camera on my head which was not I repeat not recording uh, okay. okay. It's, it, it's it's quite easy to identify whether the GoPro is recording or not. If you're recording, there's a red light that flashes. There's also a display on the front which lights up if it's recording. It was not recording. Right, okay. Now, I'm not happy about this because I believe this is customer paranoia. Okay. But you can see where the customers are coming from. No, I can't. Right, okay. I can't see that at all. So if, what happened? So if, what if, happened if, cus if customers cannot distinguish between a camera that's recording and a camera that is not recording, as in my case, that is not my issue. That is not my problem. That's and their problem. It's their paranoia. And were you able to... So what happened then when the customer, when the security guard came over? He was quite aggressive. Okay, and were you able to, so what did you do then? So what happened? Well, he, he said to me, if, if I did not remove my GoPro on my headband from my head, mm -hmm. 
effectively I got the feeling, although he didn't actually say it, I got the feeling that I would be physically removed from your store. Okay, and did, after that then, did you continue to shop in the store? Yes, but I'd removed the GoPro from my head, which I, I don't think I really need to do, okay. because it's not recording. Right. What would you like me to do? I would like your opinion on the situation, because I find it totally ludicrous that if, if I, it, and I must stress the word if, right, if I, because, you know, I, I've got money, I can shop anywhere I like, I don't need to shop in Tesco or Colby Newham, there's plenty of other shops around, I can go and, you know, they're willing to take my money, right, but as a long-standing customer of your store, and I've been shopping there since it opened, and that's quite a number of years ago. What I can do is, I can speak to the manager and um, get his view on this. Is that okay? Because yeah. I would love to speak to the manager. Are you going to speak to him now? Yes, um, it's okay if you hold. And if, if I get through to him, would you like to speak to him? Yes, I would. Yeah, um, bear with me a second. Let me just, I've got the store. Um, Middlesbrough, you see. Yeah, it's for Colby Newham, 5515 five, five, something or other. Tesco Extra, Colby Newham, Middlesbrough. I'm, I'm most unhappy about this. <clears throat> and it is an extra store, a big store. <clears throat> Tesco Extra, Colby Newton. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Tes Tesco Extra, Colby Newham, that's C O U L B Y, another word. N E W H A M. Uh, I've got it. Middlesbrough. I've got it. Okay, stay on the line, I won't be long. Thank you. So, are you the manager? No, I'm not the manager, I'm a customer service assistant. Right. I was told by the lady who I contacted on 0800 whatever it is, that I will be transferred to a manager. Thank you. Thank you, Doc. Hello. Hello. Hello, I'm the general manager. How can I help? Are you the manager? Yes. At Tesco Cold Menu? Why am I echoing in the background? Pardon? Why am I echoing? Hello? Hello. Sorry, could you repeat that? Pardon? Why is there an echo on the call? <coughs> because you're on speakerphone, sir. Are you the manager of Tesco Colby New in Middlesbrough? I am, yes. Good. I visited your is, store... Is this, one second, is this call being recorded? Pardon? Are you recording this call? Uh, actually, yes, I am. What's that got to do with anything? Yes I, am. Yes, yes I am sir, you're incorrect in that statement. I visited your store this afternoon and I was unceremonially told by one of your security guards that I would be banned from the store if I did not remove the GoPro camera on my headband before I entered the store. Okay, even though the camera was not recording, the security guard informed me that they had received complaints from customers 
that I was walking around the store with a camera on my head, even though the camera has never, ever, ever recorded anything in Tesco Colby Newham's store. Okay? Right. I'm not happy about that because this is people's paranoia. Say, say for example, right, this, this is a crass example, but I'm going to give it to you, right? A police officer walks into Tesco Colby Newham wearing a body camera, even though it might not be recording. Would the security guard go up to the police officer and demand that the police officer removes their body camera because, you know, da di da di da This this is just totally nuts. So, what you can, what's your complaint? You, you can't see my complaint? My complaint is, why should I have to remove a camera that is not recording and never has recorded in your store from my head before I can proceed to do my shopping. So you're complaining that we've asked you to remove your camera before you enter our shop? Yeah, it's nuts. Well, unfortunately, it's a private premises and we can ask people to remove sort of head, uh, cameras, any recording equipment before they come to our property. Yeah, but if the camera's not recording, what is the difference? We can ask right. to remove uh, items of, sort of cameras, any recording facilities, we don't have to let them into our shop. It's right, facility. right, right. So, so, so that, would, that would apply equally to the police with a body camera on their chest, right? I don't, if you want to discuss this, you're best off coming into the store to discuss it. I don't really want to discuss it on the telephone when you're recording me. Why not? Well, you're quite welcome to pop into the store tomorrow. And speak to one of the senior managers. No, I don't want to come into your store anymore because your store sucks, in my opinion. So this I'll end the call now for swearing. Thank you. Bye bye. Swearing? Oh, I've I've sworn. I've sworn. I've I've said the store sucks, and the manager of the store deems that that is swearing. Ha! Huh. Goodbye, Tesco.